Hey everyone, it's me, TarkerSubbity2 so here, and in today's video, we got us some, some very recent Smash Brothers news, as the Smash Brothers Japanese Twitter account has announced the upcoming version update for Smash Brothers Ultimate, that being version 11.0.0, and in that update, it is notifying all Smash Bros. fans and, and Smash Brothers Ultimate users that the replay data will be gone after you updated it, but it is very important because this is actually happening very soon, as I presumed. As you can see here, the tweet that was translated by Google Translates, here's what it says. Notice, update data version 11.0 will be delivered in the near future. Please note that if you update, you may not be able to play the replay that was saved until then. If there is a replay you want to keep, convert it into a video by selecting collection, replay, replay data, and make video. Now, this isn't really that big because we usually get these sort of, sort of updates when every DLC fighter comes out. Like, this happened every time with Piranha Plant and it keeps going. Going on it's like ongoing in my opinion so this isn't really special but it is important because this month is when pirate method from xenoblade chronicles 2 our upcoming dlc fighter will be coming out this month not only that masi or sakurai tomorrow at 6 a.m march 4th um 6 a.m specific time that is when sakurai presents will be happening and not only that it will give out an in-depth look at our next dlc fighter pirate mitra on the moveset and content and also 11.0 as well so this is really going to be big and this might happen very soon and i've been seeing smash Bros. speculation saying that pirate mitra might be released after the presentation happens but then again if you do, if we do remember from the past three fighters we had in Fighters Pass Volume 2, we mostly get the character released after the presentation, like a week after. Min Min got a presentation, then she was released a week after, then there was Steve, he, they had a presentation, and then after that, they were released a week after, and same goes for Sephiroth, so I do not expect Pyro and Mitra to come out after the presentation, but if it is, then, um, well, color me surprised. Not only that, the Amiibos will also come out on March 26th, so that is like a... A, a few weeks before that, but then again, I'm not entirely sure why the Amiibos are taking a bit long, but then again, I'm, I'm really do not know the release dates. I know the whole Amiibo theory is kind of like a, like a, pretty much in my opinion, kind of like a boring, and I thought it was debunked, but then again, who knows at this point, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the upcoming version 11.0.0 update, and also the inclusion of Pirate and Metra and Sakurai Presents. Not only that, I will also be live streaming tomorrow, keep in mind that I'll be very, very tired because it's 6 a.m. in the morning, so do not expect me to sound that much excited. I will sound tired in the stream, but with all that out of the way, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend. Like a